Sure. So yes, you're correct. We, we maintain, I would say, our level from last year, which was elevated due to COVID and other reasons. So the fact that we did not only maintain it, but we grew it 30% kind of shows that we are coming out strong out of the pandemic. So um, we, we definitely see an easing, but it, it's 30% it's is very strong. The big numbers the market's looking for is this break even, break even in 2023 that you're promising. What is it going to take to get across the line? I think we can just keep on doing what we're doing today. Of course, we're working on certain levers to further improve economics. But if you look at this quarter, we improved gross profitability in every, every segment. Um, and we are clearly moving to profitability. We will be break even on a platform basis already this year. Um, we're still investing in the integrated vertical segment with the ultra fast grocery delivery. I want to ask you about that quick commerce because, Nicholas, we're seeing so many challenges now come into this space. And of course, the traditional companies that have been upended by this. The big grocery stores have also tried to keep up and uh, ink some partnerships. How competitive is the space and is it what you initially anticipated? It's been comparative uh, over the last year. I would say the competition point of view is probably a little bit lighter these days. Uh, we see less market entries. And I think in the markets we operate, we are still by far the leading player in all but one country. Uh, so I think the competition is definitely there, but we are by far the, the leader in our markets. And now we have a little bit more than 1,000 stores. We keep growing number of stores, but at a significantly lower pace as we already have a good coverage. Nicholas, you're a very nice man, but the business model doesn't work, does it? How much money have you lost since 2011 at uh, Delivery Hero? Well, I don't have that number on top of my head, but I think we, we have definitely invested for building a clear leadership position. We are now leader in 95% of our markets. We are distant leader in, I think, 70 or so percent of our markets, generating, I don't know, this year around 44, 45 billion of GMV. And Nicholas, I think we have a fundamentally very strong business model. Nicholas, so, I've got to be honest with you. I don't believe in the business model. I think your GMV is amazing, but you can't convert that into profit. You know that costs are going up across the board as well. The only way you can do it is by cutting head office costs, admin costs, what have you. You can't cut advertising costs. Your, your courier's costs are going through the roof as well. We've seen it with the great resignation as well. The business model is not working, is it really? I think what is a good proof point is that on every single order, we are producing a good profitability metrics. And as we're growing the business, the more of that gross profitability we are getting, that is also by far outpacing the, the, the growth of overhead. So that means the larger we get, the more profitability we achieve. And I think this year, as I said, we are profitable in our platform business this year. So this is not in two years or three years. I know already this year, we are profitable in our platform business. Not yet in the, in the quick commerce space, uh, but that's something we've only been working on for two or so, two, three years. So that will come as well.